And appreciated efforts to save the Great Salt Lake, just one of the big issues on Capitol Hill this legislative session. Today, three different bills dealing with Utah's transgender youth up in a Senate committee. SB 16, a bill that bans gender affirming surgeries and puberty blockers in children, passing today. Ahead of the vote, community members in support of and against gender affirming care speaking to lawmakers on the committee, including a doctor and the father of a transgender girl. There is no good evidence for the superiority of hormones and surgeries over psychotherapy in treating minors with gender dysphoria. This is just some of the things that parents of transgender children live with on a daily basis. What I have been blessed to see with this daughter is my daughter thrive and blossom as she received proper counseling, hormones, medical procedures, not conversion therapy. SB 16 will now go to the full Senate. Other bills the state is considering would stop children from amending birth certificates and require schools to tell parents if their child is using another name or pronoun in class. Another bill heading into the session would amend restrictions put in place after conversion therapy was banned here in the state. While House Bill 228 codifies the 2020 ban, the bill's sponsor says it gives mental health professionals more free range in how they counsel, uh, counsel minors about issues related to their sexual orientation and gender identity. Representative Michael Peterson saying this, I've spoken with former colleagues who have stopped treating minors because of ambiguity in the rule. I've also spoken with members of the LGBTQ community who are grateful for the upcoming change. Now in the meantime, Quality Utah staunchly against the bill saying this, this bill will harm LGBTQ children. So-called conversion talk therapy gives clients the false hope that they can reverse their, their sexual orientation. It also proves extremely harmful to clients with gender dysphoria.